Hey everybody, it's Giving Tom. Let's continue where we left off. Mission briefing for the freak show. The freak show. It contains some weird specimens of the best of times. Heaven knows what's going on there now. Creep in round the back to avoid being spotted. Will do. Let's enter the level. Let's save before we go in, since last time we actually messed up. I find that actually kind of um, awkward that we can't just that like I have to save before going into the level which sort of ruins the flow but whatever we will deal with it the freak show very colorful level and the moon is out we're going at night time sneaking in the back what on earth what on earth what on earth sneak around the back he said now in this level, you're very much encouraged to use the hammer, but we're not allowed. Let's top up. So uh, this this game seems to like to give you health at the start of each level, which is quite polite. Let's have a quick look around. Come easy look around. There, there's money over there. There's things patrolling. Oh boy. Hey, hang on. This is. This is not a freak show. This is a celebration of diversity. Okay, let's uh, speak to Winston. Dane, without a ringmaster, the imps are going crazy. They're up to something, but I don't know what. Hmm. What would the imps be up to? Um, I'm tempted to use my gun. Oh, yes. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I didn't know they had such a reaction to being shot. Whoa, relax. Let's. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. And it's not even stun lock. It's some weird bounce you in the air thing. This is just surreal. Whoa, big belly. Don't attack with your stomach. By the way, these don't like these, these don't look like undead creatures. These just look like typical freak show creature things, yokes. Let's top up before we go on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, we only have uh, one health bottle, one life bottle. I mean, um, by this, by the third or fourth level in medieval one, we already have what three life bottles or something. So this game is not, not quite as generous. Oh, speaking of, we're going to be getting that in a minute. Uh, anything over here? Anything behind here? Anything over here? Loads of money. And loads of bearded women. Why the antagonist of this game made these guys powerful, I have no idea. Do, do, do. And why do they all have red beards? I wouldn't mind a bit of variety. At least they're not so hard. Like again, normally... Go, go away. Switch weapons down. You switch pretty quick. So far they're not so bad. Uh, normally you use the hammer and the hammer would literally squish them flat. And it's disturbing actually. Uh, but it would literally squish them flat. Let's go in here. Oh, it's a friend, the imp, and you've got buckets of acid. Stop stun locking me. And camera, why do we always have problems, camera? Stop stun locking me. He keeps like interrupting my attacks and everything. Look at that. They're weak, but they're annoying. Let's walk around them slowly. Maybe that will help. Yes, it helps. So yeah, the camera is still not perfect, but we will work with it as best as we can. Uh, Do we need that money? No. I'm sorry, it's not worth it. Uh, I, I would rather have life bottles. Do you notice my life bottle? The life bottle I got isn't even full. I don't know what that's all about. Okay. This looks like a trap. Oh. Got a Japanese wizard. With a dragon staff. And he summons a dragon. 
somewhat prettier than the dragons in the previous game, but um Where are you where are you where are you? Oh his dragon disappeared. He's gonna summon a new one, right? I've only got two hits in. Do we have to destroy the dragon or just survive? I think we just have to survive. Okay, yeah, look, it goes back into his staff. He runs. We follow him. And we get in a few hits. Two hits, that's all. Come on now. At this point, I'd normally uh, stab him with a cane. But. But. You know. You know. Oh, go back. Go back in there. At least it doesn't hurt as much as that uh, super dragon from the Gauls Gauntlet. Oh, you don't do contact damage. That's kind of you. Again. What? You got two super hits. How many hits do you take? This is going to be long and repetitive. But at least the dragon is pretty. I think the red and green colors work really well here. Go away. Do, 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 do. Why didn't you die? How did you miss that? Go, go away, dragon. And I wonder why we get those uh, weird graphical glitches. I haven't got that in any of the other PlayStation 1 games. Uh, what? You're still alive? It's a short sword that week. You should be long gone by now. Anything mind here? Nope. Oh, don't do that. Let's follow him. Let's charge up. Finally. And this one opens. And I reckon the door that we came in also opened, but you know. Right, what have we got here? Immediate ambush. Over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. Over here. Thank you. Hey, hey, you weren't in the blast radius. You weren't paying attention. And I think the imps ran away. Imps, imps. No, maybe the imps are gone. Anything behind here? Oh, pumpkin juice. Let's hope we don't have to face off against pumpkins again in this game. Okay, this is. We're we're allowed to use the hammer for non-enemy things. Let's charge it up and. Hooray! We win a prize. I like that the game still has a little bit, of, a little bit of humor. It hasn't gone all super dark. Oh, we're, oh, hello. Where'd you come from? You must be hiding on the roof. Hell, someone your of your stature got on the roof. I don't know. Hey, I interrupted your. That's good. Oh, look at that. You need to. Looks like you need your hammer to go in there. Oh, there we go. We'll go in there in a minute. What have you got to say? Stand on the trampoline, and old Dan jumped to gain some height. Will do. Anything else going on around here before we move on? Looks like there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh, does it want us to go up here? Anything up here? Nothing. This is just a practice trampoline. Uh, okay, let's take out the hammer. So, this is a mini game that actually requires the hammer. I don't know if this counts for a no weapon run. Well, what I'll do is I'll put on the sword and see if the sword works. Whack eight imps. We're playing whack a mole. Does the sword work? No, the sword doesn't work. Okay, so we have to do we have to do this with the hammer. I'm sorry, folks. And we don't get any chalice for it, so that's a okay. And we have a time limit that I didn't notice a minute ago. Oh, we get health. That is neat. Oh, and there's lights down at the bottom of the screen to indicate how far we've gotten. Oh, come on. Well done. Oh, hey, we, we found chicken drumstick. So this is how you get the chicken drumstick, drumstick weapon that we're not going to use. I don't know why they included it again. I wonder if it's like an office in joke. Don't, I'll go back in. And it gives... I think the health files only give you very little. Yeah. 
are just basically to make the game fair for the usual contestants who weren't super zombies. Whoa. Because that's what Dan is, right? Man. Come on, I just need one more. Come on. Okay, we have one more level to do. This is um, this is a very surreal thing to be dealing with. Where are we going? So as you can see, this does not contribute to the chalice, so I don't think I'm breaking my rules. Come on. Come on. Yes. Bum, bum. Dun, dun. Oh, you guys are rude. And these are much faster. Come on. Come on, give me more. Give me more. Three more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is surprisingly tricky because of the sunlock. Come on. Okay, and one more, one more, one more, one more. Yes! All the imps have been marked. And we now have... Where, 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 where? 30 chicken drumsticks. Fantastic. Can we go behind this arena? We can. We get no prizes for doing so. Except we get to clip through. We can see through the roof. And there's nothing else to do in here. Okie dokie! That was, um... That happened, and we have a trampoline that does nothing. Um, a surprisingly empty level. It's a strange place. How's it going? Uh, I'll just buy those. And let's get out of here. Right, let's see, what, what do we need here? Elephant key number one. And... Go, go away. And elephant key number two. That's presumably to get in there. What's what, what's around here? Anything nice? Any enemies want to spawn? Yes. I whacked all your friends with a hammer. Wow, the stun looks so bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, just just you only have to move a little bit to dodge. This is why the cane is handy because you can attack these dudes from a distance. I might end up using the. Do you know? Let's. Let's shoot these things. Man, this is um This is embarrassing. But there's something cathartic about um about shooting these imps. Yeah, two hits and they're down. What else is around here? Big creepy clowns. Anything behind here? Anything behind here? Oh, 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 oh. Hidden money. So it looks like we'll be heading into that giant tent, which is totally not ominous. Uh, once we collect two keys. Yeah, okay. And what whatever around here? More imps. Oh, another health fountain. Again, very generous. Thank you very much. And we can finally fill up our life bottle. Perfect. Although there doesn't seem to be much in that life fountain. Because it already seems a little bit uh, a little bit thin. Okay, what's in here? Oh, another really annoying dude. And another health fountain. This game is way too generous. Well, I suppose, we're, again, we're not giving so many life bottles, but still, way too generous. Come on, long range. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now, in this game, I don't think the health fountains respawn. I'm not 100% on that. But, um, I think that is the case. Top of a little bit. And run away from the dragon. Anything else in here? Oh, I knew it. I forget. Just, just, you can switch like that. Come on. Aim. 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 Stop, 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 stop. I have to develop my technique a little bit with these dudes. 
perfect. And just swap with the... yeah. One, two... And we're gonna have to do another round or so with this guy. And then we'll be A-okay. And our shield is still doing fine. I don't know why Dan doesn't... oh there we go. Don't know why, don't know why he doesn't use a shield so much. Right, where are you going now, Mr. Wizard? Uh, how are you still alive? And how come I'm only allowed to hit you twice? Do, 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 do. Okay, we're making use of our shield almost. Okay, where are you running to now? Oh, you, you actually hit him three times! Well done! Okay, what's next? In this fun house? We got a trabampoline. A tra a traba a trabampoline. Okay, it looks like we actually have to go this way. Going, going. Very good. What's up here? Platforming challenge. We will be back. What have you got to say? The imps are using the freak show to build an army of giant elephant bots. Try and find where they're being constructed and destroy them. If we don't stop them, they'll storm the old city. Thank you for doing your uh, spy work. Good job, Winston. So that sounds like our boss battle. We're going to be fighting against giant elephant bot things. Uh, yeah, this uh, continues to be strange. It's so nice. Just two shots and they're gone. Two shots. I said two shots. One, two. Uh, let's stand away from the water now. I I'm trying to shoot the guy behind you. Get out of my way. Stop pressing select when you just switch that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think these are coming from the boat, actually. Hit him! Done! Any, anything else? I have a feeling that we don't want to go in the water. Because if you remember from... Is he going to jump out? You want to jump out? He doesn't want to jump out. If you remember from the Scarecrow Fields, he had these weird imp creatures that hid inside... Come on. Hid inside the fields. And they were troublesome. So, so far we've actually come across, we haven't come across any uh, sticky finger limbs. So it looks like there, there's bits of the... Oh, yes, there are bits of the elephant bots in here, so they're actually quite big. One, two... Oh, shield replacement. And uh, let's get more ammo, don't shoot him, Dan. Dan, don't shoot him. Perfect. And more life. This is really generous. Although, it's like I mean, it's just there's so many. Why was a medieval one like that? Okay, let's go this way. Is that? No, I saw paint falling. Where? Where's it gone? Fall down! Come on. Gonna fall down. Come on. Oh yes. Oh we can get out the chalice. I'm gonna actually do that right now. It was in here, wasn't it? I think it was in here. Boing, boing, boing. Now remember we do get fall damage, so we have to be careful with the trabampolines. Found Chalice of Souls. It's not quite as interesting as the Hall of Heroes awaits, but all the same. Any more enemies want to fall down for me to shoot? No? Okay, let's go through the tunnel. Let's go through the psychedelic tunnel. Uh, don't, don't get confused, kids. Well then. Hey, this, this basically is the Scarecrow Fields. Like, come on now. Oh, the door hit you, Dan. Oh boy, and they fire magic. 
under, charge under, charge under, charge under. And that is one super strength imp. I'm glad I'm here with ammo. This way, come on, this way. And go under, go under, and one, two, three. A few more hits to do it. Turn around, Dan. Two, three. Come on, I need to do more than 15 damage apiece. Two. And dead. Although the weird giant imp creatures I think were more impressive in the Scarecrow fields. Since it was hundreds of years before and steampunk wasn't a thing yet. Elephant key number two. And back through the tunnel of madness. Just backwards. Hey, there's all hearts on the wall. Do -do. Did you fall down? Still didn't fall down. Ah, oh, don't worry. I'll get him. Now, I think to get up above there... We're going to have to traver traverse the trampolines. Did you see the guy had little flippers on? Did you see that? So, any any bets? Who wants to bet how many times I've fallen into this water? Oh! Oh! We didn't get insta-killed! Oh, okay. We still got fall damage. So, it looks like we actually need to have, like... Momentum. Oh, momentum. That is sort of not nice to do. Let's go real high. Go, 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 go. Okay. We only barely make it. I'm probably doing this all wrong. Two. Three. Okay. You have to be more pragmatic than next time. Oh. No, you, no, no. One. Only one per ride. Are these infinitely spawning? They might be. No, okay. Come on, make it, make it. Okay. Look, they have little blue flipper things. It's just... Again, this game is weird, and they look more like monkeys than imps, don't they? So they must be monkeys a part of the freak show. No! Damn it, I nearly made it. Oh, oh we got a halfway point. Uh, this is beside where we started, actually. Not so bad. Uh, I wonder if we can make that jump with a dash. What? You didn't make it? Oh. I appreciate getting a few ch chances, but, um... Come on. Oh. Why, why is this so awkward? Boing. 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 Yes. And of course the last one has to be the hardest. Go, 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 go. Okay, just go to the very edge. Like, I know you're supposed to do it with momentum and all that, but... Come on! Oh, that was just barely made. Okay. Oh, if we finally get to shoot you. I feel better. Let's see what's down here. It's going to be another tunnel of madness. No, just straight to the battle. The door hits you again, Dan. You have to use doors more carefully. Are you stronger? Uh, I should not have got hit there. Oh, I playing badly. Okay, if we can get four hits in every time, that would be superb. Turn around, Dan. Three. No. Come on. Turn around, Dan. One, two, three. Need five more hits. And our shield is nearly gone. Two more hits. Turn around, Dan. Aim better. And dead.
Although it looks like they could repair it fairly easily, damn. You know, it's not... Your plan isn't exactly foolproof. Okay. Any, like, any fool can operate those machines. Yeah. Let's go and top up. Now, thankfully, we can just... Fall down into the House of Horror. And get no fall damage. Uh, so now we've got the two elven keys. We just have to make our way back. Um, and face against the final boss thingy majigger in the big tent. What did we come here before for again? Just because things were being constructed here and we have to defend the city. Um, this game does have it, it does have more plot than medieval one. Like medieval one was Zarok did bad things, go to Zarok and destroy him. This game has actual things going on level to level, so we'll see. Let's just slide down here. Don't make me fight anything again, please. And here we pass by another health fountain. And number one, number two, in the wrong order. And the door is open, and there's another health fountain out here if I need it. Um. Um. Let's go. We're we're brave, aren't we, Dan? Right. Uh, oh, he has he, he has a shield, but he's left his parts suspended from the ceiling. Don't suspend your parts from the ceilings. Um, is this a shield? Nice. Okay, where is he? Let's just wait here. Where is he? Can we look? Yeah. We just have to aim time this right. Hit him. Perfect. Two more. Do, do. I probably should do a better job at avoiding the um Yeah, it's not that hard to dodge. Perfect. Now if you get the timing right, what actually oh, timing right. If you get the timing wrong, what actually happens is the elephant sort of um rears up and yes. Wow, just jumping was kind of Oh, see what I mean? Oh no. And now he's going to go in the opposite direction. We have to wait like 10 minutes. Is there any other weapons we can use? Nope. We're just going to wait patiently. Oh, he turned around again, I think. Let's lose this copper shield too. Yes! And... He's afraid, and this time he's going to fall down. And I think that's the end gate. Okay, so we've apparently saved the village from the giant elephant monster things. Um, yes, that's the plot of this level, I guess. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Before we exit the level, of course, we're going to top up our health, even though the game seems to be fairly generous with health so far, but believe me, that won't always be the case. Come on. And good enough. We'll, we'll have to top up our ammo as well next time we find a spiv. Which there's one in. Ah, there's one here. Let's just top up our ammo very quickly and then we get out of here. Come here. The question is is the spiv alive or dead? Anything behind there? Anything behind there? Nope. Let's go through here through the loading screen and then we exit the level. And um, that's it. That's the freak show. It actually went much better than I thought it would. And we're finished. See, the exits aren't marked with any sparkly green stuff or blue stuff or anything. So you have to make sure you have the chalice. Uh, get it as soon as you know it's available. Oh. Good job upgrading the lab. You've put in weird sciencey stuff. Along with the, the lights. Anything else? Did you install anything else? No, not really, but you're doing you're doing better. Loads to tell you. I've analyzed the watch you found, and I think I know who is behind this madness. Who? Huh? The name of our enemy is Lord Palethorn. He tried to gain respectability by joining the magician's circle, but they expelled him after he began to experiment with black magic. Frightful, frightful man. As far as we can see, the whole city has fallen under his wicked spell. 
Every dead soul in London is walking the streets, and a host of other demons have arrived to plague us. Here we go again. Not all bad news, though. This young... this lady is none other than Kia, 91st consort of Ramesses himself. I've been doing a little reading, and let me tell you, you might feel old, but she's positively ancient. No offense. You were the one who freed me from my eternal prison? Great warrior, I salute thee. I am forever in your debt. Right, introduction's over. On with the show. <laughs> Firstly, she learned English very quickly. Uh, secondly, is Ramses like 4,000 years ago or so? Uh, also, Dan's head fell off and he was okay. That's good to know. Let's see what this book says. Lifestyles of the Pharaohs, Chapter 10, Courtship and Consorts. Although viewed as gods and goddesses, a pharaoh's life was often a short and arduous affair. Oh boy. Many, such as Ram, uh, Ramses II, would take a number of mistresses as well as a wife. Keeping all of the women happy could prove such an arduous task that many were driven to an early grave. A royal mistress would be plucked from any level of Egyptian society. If a slave girl caught a pharaoh's eye, she could quickly be elevated to the royal court. This was a fate, not without complications, however. Due to the pharaoh's intense interest in mummification, many of their deathbeds took their many on their deathbeds took their mistresses with them to ease their existence in the afterlife. Ooh, that's not good. Many examples of consort tombs exist, the greatest of which has been rebuilt brick by brick in the Great Museum. The this this the tomb okay this the tomb of Abu Simbel uh, contains the mortal remains of Princess Kia, Ramses the second last mistress. The parchments of the time reveal that the king died before the relationship was consummated. One can only imagine her feelings as the joy of being plucked from abject poverty was replaced with by the misery of playing nursemaid to a randy eighty year old and how the joy of his death uh, must have been replaced with the misery following him to the grave. That was a long and slightly weird read. Uh, let's see what the chalice is. Lovely, isn't she? The crossbow. I used to have one of those. Give it to me by Kenny Tim. Found a crossbow. Let's equip it. And uh, this looks somewhat more advanced than Kenny Tim's weapon, and it seems to be able to reflect upwards as well as sideways, which is pretty good. Doesn't seem to fire quite as fast. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's just uh, damage his room. This is actually going to take a while to empty. Um, so yeah, um, and that there on that map, that that projector thing has actually shown a map of London. I used to think it was um, uh, just random dirt, you know, blank slide thing. But it's actually, that's the River Thames and parts of London, I reckon, and a bridge across it. Yeah, it's just clearly a bridge across it. So, um, that's it next time on Medieval 2, Greenwich Observatory. See you all then.